This is very common among children who play video games all day, constantly they're on the computer, they never exercise. Playing video games causes you to respond quickly to attacks because you see multiple colors on the screen. Hearing multiple frequency sounds from the right speaker on the headphone, left speaker from the headphone at the same time. This increases negative development of your limbic system. Your limbic system is a pain defense system. So as a result, the child is not running around outside reading or playing their favorite sport physically, not on the computer. Playing their sport outside like normal kids would do Therefore, the kid's frontal lobe of their brain, which is an area of the brain that governs reasoning and thinking and controls decision making, it gets underdeveloped. And the neglect of development of the frontal lobe, it causes inability, impulsivity, and <clears throat> they cannot control their behavior. They get angry very fast. They yell and scream. So parents, can take the video games away and encourage, sometimes force, their kids to learn, to read, to exercise, to socialize, stop texting as much as possible, so start socializing with other kids, which will develop the frontal lobe. In essence, it develops the relationship bonding neurons by constantly stimulating these brain superhighways that I talked about. As the child or adult patient's brain regains these neurons, positive plasticity happens. What does that mean? That means the child or adult, they totally become a new person. Other people will compliment you on your children or your spouse. We combine these natural methods with functional specific exercises that are performed in our office with supervised dietary regimen, neurological exercises, supplements, and diagnostics supervised by our physicians to help you. This happens all the time. And remember, your brain function is not directly related to your age. Your brain's age is totally different than your age. Your brain's age many times is older than your true age. And that is sad. As I said before, your brain's age relates to how much oxygen you're taking, not how much oxygen you breathe. Because as you get older, your ability to utilize oxygen for your brain diminishes. Next is glucose and, as I said, stimulation. If one of them is missing, which in most kids is stimulation, and in adults is all three, you're labeled as having adult onset attention deficit disorder. As a child, you're labeled as attention deficit disorder or autism spectrum disorder. Then your child's school receives special funding to have your child in that school, which many parents don't even know about it. So we need to do sensory, motor, core exercises to accomplish our goal with stimulation of neurons. We need to do eye exercises. We need to do rhythmic eye diagonal exercises to stimulate these neurons. So you need to go to a doctor who understands functional medicine, who understands functional endocrinology, who understands functional neurology. Based on the test results, what proper testing to order? Based on the test uh, order that comes in, what supplements the patients need to take? How much they need to take? How often they need to take? That is why many doctors don't practice functional medicine. You may need neurofeedback exercises, oxygen treatment, and supplements geared towards feeling better. We do it all in our office, under the direction of our physicians. Next point we're going to talk about is brain activity. 
as I talked before, since we mentioned about neurofeedback, neurofeedback is a therapeutic regimen that normalizes or balances brain activity. Because brain overactivity is no good, underactivity is no good. Contrary to public's perception, most people have brain overactivity, which causes them to be cloudy thinking, have brain fog have fibromyalgia and pain all over their body. Brain activity or underactivity is commonly overlooked. If you experience memory loss, brain fog, depression, anxiety, fatigue, is sleepless nights, you most likely have overactive midbrain. And you need to slow that midbrain down. How do we do that? We do neurofeedback therapy, which is a computerized therapy that regulates brain activity without side effects, without drugs, without medication. Sorry, I'm getting a little tongue-tied over here. It's Wednesday evening over here now. I was seeing patients in the morning. But also, brain is the most oxygen-dependent organ of the body. And chronic symptoms affects its functionality. Therefore, testing and therapies have to be done to provide increased attention, focus, and memory. Natural supplements play a huge role in helping you. The purpose of supplements is to improve your physiological function of your body, which will take time. It's not going to happen overnight. Folks, you need to stop listening to unqualified people. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody read a book. Everybody has a friend. Everybody has Google. We want to decrease your brain fog, decrease your brain degeneration, and increase neuroplasticity, which will activate your brain neurons to have a healthy brain. Can it be done? Yes. Can we guarantee it? No. Are we successful? Yes, very successful. Most people ignore signs and symptoms and blame it on aging. This is ridiculous. New study shows you can regenerate brain cells at any age. With specific brain exercises, you will challenge your brain, which we're going to teach you. So for example, if we detect loss of memory or brain fog, you will be asked to walk in straight line, looking forward, and count from 50 down by 3. 50, 47, 44, 41, 38. So you can remap these brain pathways, and we get great results by just doing one exercise, plus the oxygen treatment, plus the supplements. And this works for adults and kids. If you're experiencing headaches, attention deficit disorder, poor concentration, cloudy thinking, learning difficulty, memory loss, dyslexia, sleep disorder, fix your brain first.